Some people come in already believing they want to have IVF, and some people come in with the notion that IVF is a last resort and something they're kind of scared of. And uh, I think that derives from over 20 years ago when we first started doing IVF, and IVF is looked at as being very experimental. Um, at that time, most of the people who had um, significant fertility were coming in for treatment of anatomic problems, problems with their tubes, uh, scarring on their tubes, scarring on their ovaries, and those were mostly treated by um, surgery. I used to do 15 surgeries a week or something like that, and now maybe I do three a month, uh, for, not for reasons of tubal disease. And the basic change is um, that back then, if we had somebody who truly wasn't getting pregnant because their tubes were blocked, only about 20% would ever actually have a baby after having that kind of surgery. Whereas with IVF, a healthy person who can produce eggs um, will uh, have excellent chances of going home with a baby this season. Not someday, not maybe, but soon. Um, in, in, in real time, in a way that they can depend on. And there are numbers that, depending on their age, depending on who they are, that we can give them a very good idea of what their chances are. So a young, say, 25 to 30-year-old, you know, might be looking at it in the neighborhood of a 50 to 60 percent chance of pregnancy if she comes in with tubal disease. That's a big difference than um, you know, sort of one out of five uh, post-surgery where a number of them might have tubal pregnancies or other kind of problems again. So um, IVF is a very clear difference. It's not, a, it's not a technique of last resort. It may, for many people, be a technique of first resort because it's a more efficient, more utilitarian way of helping them to achieve their goal. And their goal is family, to have a baby. When we began um, doing IVF, when I began doing IVF, well before I came to this program uh, in the 80s, um, we were very happy with a 12 or 13 percent pregnancy rate. And to get that, we had to transfer five, six embryos uh, at a time. These days, we're down to transferring one, two embryos, and uh, pregnancy rates are six to eight times better. Uh, so we're talking, as I said, about a 50 to 60 percent pregnancy rate for young, healthy people. And for older people who 15, 20 years ago, we might have told, shown the door when they came in if they were over 40. Uh, that becomes our, our routine patient here because that's a, a group that we've really focused on, that we're trying to help, that other programs appear to be less willing to help. And we're not only willing to take them in, but we're having a, a, a good measure of success, far better than we had even in young, healthy people in the old days, and frankly, far better than most programs will have with these older patients mm -hmm. even today. So we're looking at a about a 20 to 25 percent uh, pregnancy rate and a very low miscarriage rate when we take them through these um, cycles the way that uh, Dr. Glesh and I have worked out.